Hello everyone, welcome to our daily learning video. Today is the first day of fall. Another word for fall is autumn. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna to talk about fall. The first thing that I wanna do is teach you a song. Now I cut some little pieces of paper orange and yellow and red. And I'm going to pretend that these are fall leaves. You can do this activity at home too. And you don't even have to have these colors. White paper works fine. We're just pretending that they're leaves. The song goes like this. Leaves are falling down. Won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down. Won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down. Won't you try and catch some? Now I'm gonna toss these up in the air and you pretend to catch them. Catch some if you can. Let's do that again, okay? You have to pick up all your leaves if you're doing it too. Okay, when you get all the leaves collected, you can sing again. Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Ready? Catch some if you can. That was fun. Well, during the fall, the leaves start to change colors. I went outside to see if I could find a fall leaf and I found a green leaf. Hmm, it's not red and yellow and orange like the ones we were just throwing up and singing about. This is what the leaves look like right now, but I think that I can turn this into an orange leaf. I'm going to be doing a leaf rubbing. So all I have to do is have just a piece of paper. And underneath the paper, I'm going to put the leaf that I found. I'm going to make sure that the side with the veins, that's these parts that I can feel, is up. Okay, so that goes underneath the paper. Now I'm going to use an orange crayon. And I'm just going to color right on top of the paper and on top of the leaf. Wow, take a look at this. I can see the leaf under there. That is so pretty, and now it's orange. Here you have it. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. Orange is what that spells. Well, I wanna show you some more leaves. And these leaves we're going to use today to help us practice our shapes. So take a look at this. Oh, let's start over. There it is. That's what I want to do today. I'm going to call out a shape and I want you to see if you can find the shape on the leaf and then we'll color it. And you can get this worksheet. The link will be below. Okay, so let's see if we can find an oval. An oval kind of looks like a circle, but it's kind of squished. Where's the oval? You can point and I'll color it for us, or you can do this on your own. There it is. Can you find the circle? Where's the circle? A circle has no sides and no corners. There's the circle. Now let's see if we can find a triangle. Can you find the triangle? A triangle has three sides. There's the triangle. Now, can you find a square? A square has four sides. Where's that square? There's the square. Now, can you find a star? Where's the star? Hmm, oh, I see the star too, right there. Can you find a rectangle? A rectangle has two sides short and two sides long. There's the rectangle. Now can you find one that looks like the moon? That's called a crescent. There it is, there's the crescent shape. Can you find a shape that looks like a heart? 
did you find the heart too? I'll color it for us. Now we're gonna look for a shape that looks like a triangle with no top. That's called a trapezoid. Can you find the triangle with no top? Here it is. I found the trapezoid. Now the last shape has six sides and it's a hexagon. Let's color the hexagon. Great work, everybody. I had so much fun finding all these shapes on these fall leaves. Next, I wanna see if we can make something fun for art. We're going to make a wreath from a paper plate and some fall leaves. So let's head over to the art table, everyone. For art today, we're making a fall wreath and I have a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you could just cut a circle from cardboard or even a cereal box. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the middle part of the paper plate. Just like this. Okay, and now there'll be a link below so that you can get these printables. But if you don't have them, no problem. Just draw some simple leaves on paper or go out and find real leaves. I'm going to color the leaves with crayons and I'm not gonna worry about staying in the lines because remember, I'm gonna cut these out. I'm going to color my leaves with fall colors like yellow and orange and red and brown. Next, I'm going to cut out the leaves. And then I'm going to glue the leaves onto the paper, the paper plate. There you have it. Okay, I'm gonna show you one that's already finished. Ta-da! So that was our art project for today. We made a fall wreath. Now you can hang it up and have a pretty decoration. For art today, we're going to be making this pretty fall wreath. So I'll show you how to do it. So I have this printable and I've been working on coloring the leaves, brown and yellow and orange. And I'm going to take some scissors and cut all of these out. And then I'm just going to glue the leaves onto a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you could always just use a piece of cardboard that you cut into a circle. Even an empty cereal box works really well. Once you get all those leaves glued on, you'll have something like this, a pretty fall wreath that you can use for a nice decoration. Let's put the pretty fall wreath that we just made on our shelf. That looks really nice. I hope you get to make one too. Now let's do some science together. Let's find out why those leaves are sometimes green and sometimes yellow and orange and beautiful red and gold. So first of all, let's talk about leaves. The leaves of a tree make their own food. The leaves have something inside them called chlorophyll. That chlorophyll mixes with air that comes in from tiny holes in the leaves and water that comes up from the roots. The leaves also need sunlight to make food. It's like a recipe. As long as there's plenty of sunlight, chlorophyll, air, and water, the leaves can make food. Well, chlorophyll, that's one of the ingredients needed to make food, is green. So when there's plenty of chlorophyll, the leaves look green. When the season changes to fall, there's less sunshine and the weather gets colder. You might notice that it gets dark earlier and it's still dark later in the morning. You may have to wear a jacket now. When this happens, it's harder for the leaf to make food because there isn't as much sun. Remember, sunshine is one of the ingredients needed in the recipe for the leaves to make food. 
Without sunlight, the green chlorophyll begins to dry up. As the green goes away, you can see the true colors of the leaves coming out. That's right, the red, yellow, gold, and orange colors were hiding all along in the leaf during the summer months. Well, the colors just can't be seen in summer because of all that chlorophyll. But when fall comes, <gasps> you're able to see all the bright colors that the leaves were all along. They were just hiding behind all the green chlorophyll. The leaves send every bit of food they have stored up to the tree. Once all the food is used up, the leaves turn brown, die, and fall to the ground. All the leaves will remain on the ground all winter long. The tree rests much like a bear hibernates in the winter. No new leaves will grow during this time. But don't worry, in the spring, the tree begins to make new leaves again when there's lots more sunshine during the spring and summer months. And the leaves will be bright green and filled with chlorophyll once again. Now, I know that we have a very creative God. He created all those beautiful colors in those leaves, and then he made it so that during the fall months, we can see all the colors coming out. I think that the heavens declare the glory of God and the handiwork of his hands. Okay, well, I want to see if we can read a story before we go, and the name of this story is Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn. It's the first day of fall and Pete the Cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer, I can swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself of all the things you love about autumn, Mom suggests. Hmm, says Pete. I'll try. Pete finds Grandma in the kitchen. She's baking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping Grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he also loves eating it even more. After the baking is done, Pete picks an orange pumpkin from the counter and slips it into his backpack as a souvenir. Next, Pete heads to the town corn maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long, twisty paths made of tall corn stalks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As he leaves, Pete plucks a golden corn cob from the maze and places it inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting on the porch. Grandpa helps Pete use the knitting needles to knit the yarn into cool patterns. Together, Pete and Grandpa make a long, cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they're done, Pete chooses a little ball of leftover yarn and places it into his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hayride at the park. Pete, Bob, Mom, Dad, and Grandpa all pile into a wagon filled with hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride around the park. Woo-hoo, shouts Pete. At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of sweet-smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete heads over to the apple orchard where he and Callie go apple picking. They eat sweet apple donuts and drink hot cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Next, Pete stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete scores a touchdown and everyone cheers. After the game, Pete grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this, Pete says. Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in his front yard, which is covered in bright leaves falling from the trees. Pete helps his dad rake the leaves into a big, colorful mound. Then Pete runs and jumps into the leaves. After he's done jumping, Pete picks a bunch of red, gold, and orange leaves and stuffs them into his backpack. Pete's backpack is bursting with fall souvenirs. He can't wait to show Mom. I love autumn, says Pete. Wonderful, says mom. You know, these would make great decorations for Thanksgiving. So Pete helps mom fill a basket with all his mementos. They place the basket at the center of the table. You did a great job, Pete, says mom. 
It's beautiful, says Dad. Is that my football? asks Bob. <laughs> Just then, the doorbell rings. Ding dong. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All of Pete's family and friends gather around the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. Pete looks around the table and smiles. He loves lots of things about autumn, but Pete knows what he loves most all year long is his family and friends. Well, I hope you had some fun on this first day of fall or autumn. Let's sing our song one more time. And if you wanna do some handwriting, if you're older and you wanna do handwriting practice, you can practice F-A-L-L, -L, that spells fall. Okay, here we go. Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Leaves are falling down, won't you try and catch some? Catch some if you can. I had fun today. Happy fall. See you next time. Goodbye.